Today we're going to be figuring out what is the best sand to use for lost foam casting aluminum. Before we get started with the molds, we need to make the shape out of foam. We've bought some polystyrene foam sheets from Amazon and we'll use that as our foam. We'll be doing a simple shape, a tinker and build T-shape, so we can get an idea of how each sand type measures up. We traced the T on paper, then transferred the outline to the foam sheet. There's four of them, one for each sand type. We use a simple foam cutting wire to slowly trace around each T. The lines aren't perfect, but they're close enough for our purposes. We'll be testing four different sand materials. Plaster of Paris, Play Sand, Protec Professional Foundry Grade Green Sand, and finally Petrobon Deft Clay Alternative Casting Sand. As always, links to the tools and materials used in today's video are in the description. First up, Plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is different than the other sand materials because it has to set first. We pour the Plaster of Paris, add some water, and mix well. We put some straws in the foam for a sprue and a vent for the foam gases to escape. Now we put in the foam tea, cover it, and shape a basin around the sprue for pouring in the aluminum. Now we just need to let it sit. We'll let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes. For the non-plaster materials, we'll just cut and screw together some 2x4s for holding the sand. Next we'll do the play sand. Add play sand and some water into a bowl. The water is necessary to make it pack tightly around the foam. Transfer the wet sand to the 2x4 mold and place in the tee with straw vents. Add some more sand and make the basin. Next up is the green sand. Same procedure as the play sand. Add some water, mix well, put the sand into the mold. Add the foam shape, make the sprues, form the basin. Last up is the deft clay alternative. This one we didn't add any water to. Place the sand directly into the mold and pack it down. Add the foam and sprues. Circle out the basin and you're ready to cast. Now we just have to fire up the furnace and melt some aluminum. Get it nice and liquid at around 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Then pour the crucible into the mold. The plaster mold. The play sand mold. The green sand mold. and the deft clay alternative. The metal is extremely hot, so give it a while to cool down in the mold and handle everything with your heat resistant safety gloves at all times. After it's cooled down, it's time to tear the mold apart and see the results. They all look pretty good except for the plaster which failed to cast. They're a little bumpier than I'd like, but I have a feeling it's more the foam we used than the casting sand. The play sand has the nicest surface shine, however unsurprisingly the green sand seems to have the least imperfections. I'm happy with the result, I think for next time we need to upgrade to a harder more dense foam, but I'm thinking I like the green sand the best. That's all for now, I'm CJ Windish and this has been Tinker and Build.